Rich Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle working love. In the last podcast, I talked to you about the future and your economy, or the coming currency collapse. Today, I want to talk to you about roots of economic collapse, the technical and spiritual factors. Let me give you a little description. For years in the USA, the government via the Federal Reserve System has been printing paper money to reduce the value of the U.S. dollar. This allows them to pay back debts with cheaper money, that is, money that is worth less, as in worthless, due to inflation. It's just like anything else, more supply equals less value. The USA cannot repay its debt, which is about $17 trillion, that's trillion with a T, Excessive indebtedness always contributes to the downfall of leading nations and world powers. A cursory examination of world history over the last 5,000 years or so will prove the point. From Mesopotamia to Rome to the British Empire, economic malaise producing full-blown disease accompanies loss of power. The next economic collapse is coming and more about that in future blogs. But my assignment, as I told you last week, my assignment from the Lord is to prepare you. I warn people what to do as a result of the last big one. See my podcast of November 28, 2008. I may give you some investment suggestions from time to time, but I am not a financial advisor, so you will need to pray and listen to God. So let's talk about roots of economic collapse the technical and spiritual factors. Globalization has bound the economy of other nations to the economy of the USA, and vice versa. This is at the same time concomitant with religion and government. All three are a mix of not-so-strange bedfellows. Please refer to the end-time underpinnings of the new global governance, the new global currency, and the new global religion. I have placed links for all three of those in the show notes of this podcast. In the last podcast teaching, we discussed several empirical laws concerning magnitude and frequency of geological shocks, in other words, like from earthquakes. Early warning system models, called EWS, can be used to analyze also certain economic sectors of a society separately. Omori-like distributions that are used for earthquake aftershocks suggests that economic losses will be widespread around crises or recessions. Also, the crises-initiating sector spreads instability to the other sectors of the economy. And I have placed links in the show notes for Bath's Law, the Gutenberg-Richter Law, and Omori's Law. There is a spiritual parallel to the natural, and that's because the Creator placed His print on creation. People around the world, not just in the USA, are becoming discouraged and increasingly angry at government and at government leaders. People are beginning to feel frustrated and out of control because they've lost control to a government that does not listen to them or represent them. This is why socialistic governments try to buy votes from the economically depressed with entitlements rather than fixing the systemic failures. This has been the case with the United States since 2008. With global economic breakdown, the need for a new global currency system takes place. There's no room in this global governance system for the following. Individuality, sovereignty, and independence. You might want to listen to my last podcast on this subject about loss of anonymity. Does this strike a chord with you? It should. Could this be why people in different countries feel out of control? My friend, I get emails from all over the world. I know what the pulse of the common man is. The world in which we live may be divided into three sectors. The moral or spiritual, the social or political, and the monetary or economic. These are three areas from which the thrust for a new global currency originates. Those who feel jeopardized by the demise of the U.S. dollar, the moral or spiritual sector, those who want to see the downfall economically, militarily, and religiously of the USA, the social or political sector, 
and those who want to capture mass market of the U.S. and consumers, the monetary or economic sector. Global equalization will be the catalyst for new global banking. Economic policies are key weapons of warfare in geopolitical competition. You, the individual, you that are listening to me, are the puppet with strings attached, unless you know God and listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. It is not unpatriotic to warn people with the blast of the shofar. Neither was it for Jeremiah to warn Israel and the king about impending judgment. Those who have not grown up in the USA are possibly not able to listen to God from a perspective of from whence the USA has fallen. Even though God has blessed the USA and made her a blessing to the nations, as well as to Israel in the past, he has no obligation to bless her leaders, her sins, nor her sinners. Abortion, same-sex marriage, at all. God's only obligation is to bless his children who obey and listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Remember also, a principle of God's dealing with nations is many times this, judgment begins at the house of God. You can read that in the Brit Hadashah, or the New Covenant, the New Testament, in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 17. Peter was actually a Jew. His Hebrew name was Shimon. Prepare ahead of time, now, for this great coming need. As mentioned previously, in the future, you will look around and see depression and hopelessness in the lives and faces of people. Once these evil spirits control the mind, they will augment their insidious attack to the spiritual and physical areas of the person afflicted. You may want my book, Healing Deliverance, in advance, so that you'll be able to effectively help people when this happens. I've placed a link for that book in the show notes of the podcast. I've placed some other resources to help you in the show notes of the podcast and so that you can help others. One is frustration and your future, the way out. One is dealing with stress in the end times. Pray and ask the Lord to use you as an instrument of compassion and deliverance in this area of need. And make sure you are living for the Lord so he can protect and bless you. For instruction and help in the areas of prosperity, deliverance, and holy living, I've placed three links in the show notes of the podcast also. One is how to prosper. One is how to be delivered. One is the power of a separated life. I told you in the last podcast that mortgage rates are pushing new highs for 2015. And as of this week, they're even higher. And I told you there are no short-term reasons. The situation is going to be long-term. Listen to my last podcast for the reasons why. My friend, the USA dollar collapse has already started. It started in 2000 with the euro, and then later in 2010 with currency war. And it is being augmented now with China as a major creditor and a hoarder of gold. Foolishly, while at the same time knowingly, the USA has whimsically danced to the tune of several rivals by amassing enormous trade deficits, budget deficits, and international debt. In recent teachings, I've warned you that just because the Dow is at an all-time high, it means nothing when inflation is factored in. Just today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 350 points while ATM machines in Greece were being boarded up. Another great factor that a lot of people don't realize or are not aware of is that the world's new mega money, referred to as SDR or spatial drawing rights, will help over time dilute the solvency of the U.S. dollar. The time to invest wisely is now. Inflation and deflation are both possibilities, of course, at different times. And if you'll listen to my last podcast, also consult the show notes, I explain specifically why and how inflation works to steal from you. But I want to help you out, and that's my job, my assignment from God, as I said. There are many other things I'd like to teach on. I love to speak for God. I love to teach for God. I love to preach for God, and I love to prophesy in demonstration and the power of the Holy Spirit with signs following. But God wants me to prepare you. So to help you prepare for the furthering economic collapse, here are three moves you should begin to pray about and or do right now. 
Number one, give to God's work regularly and systematically. Number two, pray in the Spirit, in tongues. And if you feel that inflation is going to take over, that's before hyperinflation because then it will be too late. Invest in commodities like gold and oil and stocks in companies with hard assets in transportation, energy, natural resources, and agriculture. But don't invest in GMO foods. That's genetically modified organisms. Do not invest in those. Also, you might want to invest in West Shore Real Return Income Fund. The symbol is NWSFX. I placed that in the show notes. It has assets that include units of physical gold, fine art, and other tangible assets intended to preserve wealth in inflationary markets. It currently trades at about $9.88 U.S. The year's low was $9.78. year's high was $10.56. By the way, to help you learn how to pray in the Spirit, I placed a link in the show notes of the podcast called How to Receive the Power of God with Gifts of the Spirit. My friend, you need everything you can get from God to operate in the coming economy. You want to be blessed, and you want to be a blessing to others. Now, number three, I mentioned number one, give to God's work regularly and systematically. Number two, pray in the Spirit, in tongues, and what to do if you feel inflation is going to take over. Number three, start now withdrawing small amounts of cash from your bank or banks. Then go rent a storage place and hide it under filthy junk in a fireproof box or wherever you think is safe. Listen to my previous podcast for more details on this. I go into it specifically. If and when deflation occurs, I said deflation, not inflation, later you'll be able to obtain some really good purchases with cash when other people are hurting. Also, you'll be able to help others. The main reason you'll want to have cash on hand is because If the bank shut down for a few days due to economic trauma, you will not be able to withdraw any cash. You need to be able to function. Notice, do not be concerned if you do not have money to invest in commodities or securities that are geared for inflation proofing. Your main concern is to hedge against whatever may come, inflation, stagflation, hyperinflation, or deflation. And the best way you can do this is to invest in God's kingdom. Spend some time alone listening to God and develop a plan of giving. The U.S. dollar was victim of 50% inflation during the years of 1977 to 1981. Lots of people had their savings ripped right out from under them while they were not even realizing it. Right before that time, God spoke to me about a plan for reaping a great harvest personally. I never shared the specifics with anyone. I just listened and obeyed. I'm going to explain to you how that happened right now. Remember that in 1977 to 1981, the U.S. was victim of 50% inflation. But in the year before, in the months before, in 1976, God gave me a plan of investing into his work, a spatial six-month strategy with a certain percentage that I was to give him, way more than I had ever given before. And at the end of six months, I was instructed to leave my residence with my family and travel a long distance away. While there, I was alone fasting in an animal shed, and $100,000 U.S. was placed under the door to me. Now realize, I knew nothing about inflation that was going to reap havoc in the U.S. in the next four years. God was setting me up ahead of time. It's important to listen to him, my friend, and it's important to listen to me as God has appointed me to help you. Right now, let me share with you some current projects that I'm working on. Right now, we're providing free Prince Handley power books to colleges, churches, and ministry libraries in different countries where the leaders are engaged in strategic, end-time apostolic and prophetic ministry. Some of these are in high-conflict areas. Also. In addition to our ongoing Project Judah ministry to key influential people in Israel, we're starting July 1st, that's just in a couple days, a new and powerful creative outreach from inside Israel. Please pray for us. And if the Lord leads you to help in our global exploits for Messiah Jesus, there's a link in the podcast show notes to help you do this. Brothers and sisters, now is the time to establish a simple, 
but strategically secure plan to prosper in the coming economic downturn. Do not wait until the stuff hits the fan. Most of all, my friend, make sure that you know the specifics of current geopolitical hotbeds, how to respond, how to war intelligently. I placed in the show notes of this podcast three books that will help you to know that. One is Babylon the Bitch, Enemy of Israel. One is Enhanced Humans, The Mystery Matrix. Both of those are full of prophetic revelation to help you understand geopolitical forces that are operating right now in the world and some that will happen. And then the third book is Prophecy, Transition, and Miracles. It will teach you how to war intelligently, how to prophesy in demonstration and power of the Spirit, how to listen to God, how to decree prophetically. Also, I've placed an opportunity in the show notes of this podcast to help you prosper in this coming downturn in the economy. One great way to prosper is to work with God by helping reach people with the good news. Your donations will help us reach nations. All of our projects of outreach are free, they're financed by our donors, and we have placed a secure donate link in the podcast show notes to help you if you want to partner with us or even if you just want to help one time to do God's work. Just let the Lord lead you. Listen to God, obey God, and God will bless you. Remember, my friend, God is for you. He thinks you're tremendous. If you've never met the Lord, or if you don't know for sure if you died right now that you'd go to heaven, pray this prayer with me. Just say, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if Yeshua, if Jesus is really the Messiah, reveal him to me. And if you do, I will serve you the rest of my life. Forgive my sins. Help me to live for you on earth and take me to heaven when I die. Amen. My friend, if you prayed that prayer, and those of you listening that already know Mashiach Yeshua, the miracles of God are aimed at you from every direction. With men, things are impossible. But my friend, with God, all things are possible. This has been your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba, Bashim Adonai.